<laughs> okay. Hey, everybody. What's going hey. on? It's your girl, Miss Eye Candy, and welcome to Girl Talk. It's your girl, Sean G. With Miss Eye Candy and Sean G. It's a sleepover pajama party. This is our pajama party mm-hmm. episode. Um, So... I'm not, you know, glamorous. I don't have my hair did up. This this is who does my do my hair too in Jacksonville. This is my Jacksonville hairstylist. So when my hair is flat and done up and I'm not no scarf, like, you know, it's most likely she did my hair. But anyway, um, we got a lot of stuff to update you on, some stuff to talk about that's been going on the candy bar, and then the big thing is the show Love and Hip Hop that everybody's talking about. We definitely gotta give our commentation about that, tell y'all what's going on, what's going on with the deal. About that show, our thoughts and our opinions, and you know, some bitches. Yeah, we gotta talk about that. But Hell first, yeah. but first, let's talk about you know us. We good. How, how you doing? You doing all right? I'm doing fine. You chilling? I'm Everything been chilling. good with you? Lonely, chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. She was saying something like how Miss I can't try to find a husband. Not necessarily trying to find a husband. But if my husband finds me, I would be very receptive to it. I would be very excited. I, I'm at this stage I'm of my life. I'm not trying to find one. I am. I'm at this stage yeah. of my life where I'm ready to settle down. I'm officially ready. I've done my me time, and it's time for me to start dating and, you know, hopefully get my Mr. Right. I like the game. Do you? Yeah. I'm, I'm tired of the game. Uh, I'm over it. Mm, the game. You can keep it. You can have it. I want the game. Mm. <laughs> done with the game. Done. But, yeah, so... That's what's up. Um, I was in Cincinnati a few weeks ago. We had the '90s mixer. You yeah, saw the pictures. That was good. Yeah, it was hot. That we was had hot. a good time. I'll be back. Big ups to everybody in Cincinnati. That's right. Y'all came out. Y'all supported. We partied. We danced. Shout out to the candy bar. It was so much fun, and I can't wait to do it again with you guys. Um, I'll be in Cincinnati next week for the uh, Projecting Hope first annual hair and fashion show. I will become um, the MC for that. So information will be. On the video, as you see it strolling or whatever, y'all come out. If you're in Cincinnati, please come out and support. This is for a great cause. It is giving back to the community. Give back to your community because if you was in a situation like that, you would want a company like this to help you out. So we got to help and support each other. So come yes. out. I'm going to be on that stage. I might fall. You might enjoy it. So come out and see me. Because <laughs> me and Heels, I might be a little nervous. I might slip, try to play it off. DJ Subtle will be on the ones and twos again. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So come yeah. out and kick it with us. Um... I think they still have vendor spots open. You need to go to Cincinnati. You need to go. It's See, fun. See, you doing all that flying and stuff. I ain't with that. Yeah. You know what 12 saying? hours, 12 to 14 hour ride. That drives. is too long to be in the air. 12 to 14 hour ride. It's a two hour oh. flight. See, I don't see. like 12 to 14 hour ride. I like to see this. I like to see the scene. I don't seen the scene enough. <laughs> I like to see people Put me that, on the airplane. I like to see the people go passing by. Hey, Put me on the saying? airplane. Put me on the airplane. Then you get the thing of, damn, there's a lot of different people in. You know what? I think that road trips are good at certain times. Road trips with a three-year-old, it's not very fun. Well, I'm not in that. I'm not in that one. But you know what? I'm not getting on the plane. Yeah, you are. Mm-mm. You are. No, ma'am. Give you a shot of Patron. You'll be all right. That, no. I'm going to get a lot more than that. I'm telling you, listen. Uh-uh. That is too close to Jesus. Jesus is okay. <laughs> You ain't the only one, because my best friend's scared, too. She's about mm-hmm. to conquer that fear, because she need to get to Jacksonville. But, I mean, come on, y'all. Let's get on the airplanes. No. We're going to pray before we're going to ride together. There you go. That's it. Baby, I can get a shot. You'll be all right. No, no, I said we're going to ride together. We didn't say fly. No, y'all going to fly. Because mm-hmm. she's there, you're here. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I need to fly to meet mm-hmm. in the middle, in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so. No, ma'am. So, yeah, come on out. Cincinnati. Um, It's going to be July the 7th. Yeah. At the Centennial Barn, I think it's in Wyoming, Ohio. Uh, the website is projectinghope.org, I think. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it. But, yeah, so vendors, they still got slots open. You can pre-order your tickets. Get your tickets now. It's $12 in advance, 15th door. Get them $3 off and get your ticket now, y'all, so we can know, get a head count, how many people going to be there, so I yeah. can know what to wear, how my hair should be. Don't need to be super fly. Or I need to be more casual. So, it's going to be more men. It's going to be more women. I, I just need to know. You know. So, <laughs> pre order your tickets. Come on, y'all. Do this. But, okay. Um, Don't forget the bands. Candy bands. They're coming back. That's right. Candy bands will be back in two weeks. You can um, you can start pre ordering them now. You go to the PayPal and do it because the website is under construction. But, they'll be back in two weeks and we have more candy bands. I know everybody's like, what's my candy band? Well, I told y'all we was running out. I told y'all. Hey, y'all wasn't paying oh, yeah. attention, but yeah. we are out, completely yeah. out. So the new one should be here in two weeks. So um, be on the lookout for that. 
Check out the shows on iCandy Radio. Sunday through Friday, we got something different. Shout out to the Candy Bar Show with the beauty shop and the barber shop. Today, they were talking about interracial dating, and it got a little crazy, but it was a great show. So check the archive show. It was a great show. And, yeah, yeah that's good. So let's talk about Love & Hip Hop, y'all. Yeah. This is a big, big uproar in America. I don't know about the other countries, but I know America's really <laughs> talking about it. Um, they've even started a petition already to get this show off the air. You know, they, yeah. it took what four seasons for them to get this petition about basketball wise, but now they want to get rid of Love and Hip Hop. Because Love and Hip Hop, like if you be honest, because I watch it because it's entertaining. Yeah, but, entertaining. But it's very ratchet. It is very ratchet. And I'm not gonna say it's Listen, not ratchet. It's very, very ratchet. It's no different than them bitches out there in the damn streets. It's ratchet. Yeah, I mean, y'all it's, trying to put them in jail. They're not trying to lock them up. They're just trying to take them off. No, I'm just saying. (laughs) See, you can't ban them from TV because they're going to be acting cool like that. I guess a lot of people are upset at the fact that when we keep seeing these reality shows on TV, we get Atlanta Housewives, Basketball Wives, um, what is it? LA Basketball Wives and Love and Hip Hop and uh, all these little shows where they're showing African American women, you always see one side. You don't really see Mm. the other side. So they get upset because all you see is the fighting and the cattiness, the ghetto-ness, the just hook. But you don't ever see, like, the good side. And I know somewhere out there in America, <clears throat> there are some positive women. There are some that's not on drama. Okay. You can put me on TV because I'll show my side. <laughs> I really will. <laughs> Listen, them bitches be fighting in the damn club every fucking week. Uh-oh. Sorry. <laughs> I had to get the sister, but <laughs> yeah. all on her. Get the bleep on her. <laughs> you, know, you know how I get excited about this right here. Okay. Them mugs be... Uh, <laughs> Tell them. Mugs, okay. Them <laughs> mugs be fighting in the in the club every weekend. Nobody don't say nothing because you, you're you going to um gonna go to the club this weekend. Then next weekend, you're going to go to the same club. The same thing going to happen. Your new shoes going to get stepped on and everything. It's no different than on TV than in real life. I think what that is, though... It's, it's just different audiences because, like you're saying, you're going to go to a club, they're going to fight in a club. But personally, I don't like going to clubs where it's like that. So yeah. when you see me at a club, I'm at a club where it's more mature and it's more laid back, and that's not really happening. Okay, well, let me back up. When am I going to cut your ass, okay? I don't really deal with people that want to cut me off. Somebody's going to act the fool somewhere. I mean, they're going to wait till the whole but, week, you know, the whole week go by, yeah. and then they'll wait till the weekend to start. So, right. I just think that's you don't call this bitch all, all week. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I think their I'll biggest issue is... Friday. And, I mean, there are stations that show positive stuff. So, as much as... I mean, I just think some people was like, dang, how come it's never on positive? It is. Because you got Oprah Winfrey's network, the own network, which is cable. Just like VH1 is cable, own is cable. They had that show, Sweetie's uh, Restaurant, Sweetie Pie Restaurant. Or something. I thought it was a real cute reality show. You got Tia and Tamara on WeTV, the Braxtons, Mary Mary. These aren't fighting. Yeah. These are like real reality mm-hmm. shows where you're not fighting. And you know what I mean? Then you got... The ratchetness, <laughs> basketball wives, love and hip hop. Okay, and look, a lifetime, lifetime, the lifetime supposed to be oh, it's for the women's lifetime. What the fuck ever? <laughs> Them people getting beat up, raped, and all that other shit on there. Okay, and I just that's why I, I think like that everybody that. they forget that it's not just black women that's in a bad light, but I think. Cause, cause we don't watch. We don't necessarily watch the. I mean, some of us do watch. I think you do, like the Real Housewives of Orange County yes, and New I Jersey do. and all of that kind of stuff. And then you got the Mob Wives and Chicago Mob that. Wives and the Baseball Wives. And on them shows, they have the same type of drama. But they got money. Yeah. Damn. But they still fighting. They still got drama. And they still losing their mind. So it's not just the black race, but that's the one exactly. that we watch. So we see it and we like, oh, hell no. But anyway, we got to talk about it because okay, even okay. though they're trying to be in it, I'm still watching I'm it. I'm still watching it. I'm supporting it, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I like it. You know I don't what look saying? at it as, I don't look at it as. Um, I like it. It's real life for me. It's how I want to live my life. I don't let my child watch it because teenagers might not be able to tell the difference between this is not, this not cute. Right. This is these are hot mess, and we just watching it because they a hot mess. And they worse than me. Yeah. It's like like reading, watching a soap opera. You know what I mean? It's it's not true, but it's watching somebody else drama. We got our own drama in life, so it's it eases our mind to see somebody else got some drama too. It just ain't me that got a little bit of drama. So I well, watch it. This week. Yeah, I just watch it for the <laughs> entertainment of it. But we're gonna talk about it. You got five or six girls in Atlanta that's trying to do that thing, or they're dating somebody that's in the industry or whatever, 
And there's three main ones where the stories we all hook to. But mm -hmm. let's try to breeze through the other ones first. You got Rashida, the rapper. Um, Who is that? <laughs> what the fuck is She's that? Like, what she call herself? Get the yeah. please, because you know I'm a... Right. Excuse me, everybody. <laughs> if the people that knows me, they know how my mouth is. <laughs> Potty mouth. I ain't got no party mouth. I just cuss what the hell I want to say. That's potty mouth. Well, whatever you want to <laughs> Okay. Well, Rashida, she called herself the princess of the South or something like that. She's a rapper. She's kind of a mixture of Kaya. You know Kaya, my neck, it's my, my back, back. And where she my, at? She's in Atlanta, too. But she's a mixture between her and kind of, her, uh, what's Man, her name? Nicki, Nicki Minaj. She's kind of Nicki Minaj meets Kaya. Because she got that Kaya type of rap and swagger but then she's cute like Nicki Minaj. <laughs> no shade to Kaya. I just mean like she dressed a little tight. She got a, you know, no shade Kaya. No shade. Don't don't try to come beat me up. Don't come for me. But <laughs> cause Kaya hood. She hood. And I don't want to be okay. I want to be the buddy of your jokes. But um so Rashida she's married to her manager. She's trying to uh nice get her album out. Yeah a little chocolate drop. Nice. He's a very nice looking young man. Ooh, I love it. Um Ooh. Her her story's not very interesting, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Exactly. They gotta show you a few more. But she get old fabulous. That's all I can say about her. Yeah. She get to fabulous. But it's cute. She's married. Her yeah. and her husband are married. They got a son. They raised their son in the yeah. house. You know, they working together in the business. They having some conflicts. Like she don't understand how to separate business from at home. Like if he does a a manager's decision, um, at, about her career. Yeah. He uh, and she don't like it. When it's time to go home, she remembering that stuff. Like, he want to lay in bed. Nah, don't touch me because you ain't the side, okay. you know. And that's a problem. If you, that's number one, why you shouldn't be mixing business with pleasure. Get anyway, your money, in girl. Business. Think about getting that money. Yeah, because a lot of times when you mix that business and, and that pleasure stuff, you get those conflicts. And people can't separate the business. Yeah. So, you shouldn't mix it, number one. I don't think you should. For a lot of people, they can't handle it. But number two, if you're going to do it, realize that this is business. When we get home, we are married. We are family. That's two completely different situations. So He need to step up, though. Who? He need to say that, though. He do. Oh. He look pump. He look pump. He look pump. Basically, everybody <laughs> he do everything for her. It's cute. Yeah. Whatever. I like yeah, it's them. It's cute. I like that. Yeah, I like to their story. Point. And, and one thing is, you know what I mean? If you're paying attention to the actual show, it's not just negative. Because they ain't really negative. They just got a real life situation. And, you know, that's like normal. So, it ain't always ratchet. I mean, she's a little hood. But it's not ratchet. It's alright. That's their that's they life. And then she got a new song she was trying to plug. Talk about Marry Me. I'm the girl. I'm going to put it on him. He's going to marry, marry me. me. I'm going to put it on that man. He's going to marry me. me. <laughs> so, what the fuck? I think she was trying to Trying to get her an anthem, like a um. She could have said, "I got him to marry me." She was trying to do like a. I girl. put it on him and got him to marry me. Beyonce, Beyonce is known for well, shout out to Whitney Houston. Really? Whitney Houston yeah. took Chaka Khan and did "I'm Every Woman," but then Beyonce, you know, is good for making girl anthems. And she got that single single ladies, all the single ladies, you know. So I think she was trying to go single lady, put a ring on it type anthem. It it's, it's, it might work for Atlanta and the Atlanta industry because yeah. you know people well, in Atlanta I'm from like Georgia, that. So, I'm so you know they like that. that. Right okay, yeah, they I don't like, like that. that kind of stuff. I'm Midwest, so I mean, they, they like that. But I love that. Thing. I mean, I do it, but I do it as fun making fun of it. But see, the difference is like what he's trying to show her. He's he's trying to to take it beyond just Atlanta. Mm -hmm. He wants to go nationwide. Exactly. You know what I'm exactly. saying? New York, mm -hmm. Miami. Jayville. <laughs> Dude, Cincinnati. Oh, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel him on that right there. And Try she's got that, she's got that it. Atlanta hood princess, whatever, status, and she's just in that mentality. Yeah. But, I mean, if you want to make some money, especially now that she's independent, yeah. she's not with it. Like, she said she was with Motown and somebody else. She's not with them no more. She's independent. And you got to be able to branch out. You can't just be independent and be Atlanta right. and think that's, I mean, that's nice, but being a local celebrity ain't where it's at. You want to take it further. So, right. that's a cute story. I'll, right. I'll give her that. That's cute. Well, we just seen her this. I haven't felt, you know, just really feeling her. Yeah, they got to they they give out three more shows. Yeah, that's what I said. Because they, they have the star. The stars right now was the other, the, the, the triangle is what we are watching for, like. Coming to Smans. We watching for that, that love the triangle. Smans. And Rashida not a part of that, and her story is kind of slow, so whatever. The next I know person I might on there, sound like a smegan. <laughs> my voice is raspy. It's been raining and okay, it's been raining and damn 
Jayville <laughs> for the last three goddamn days. Damn. That's all I want to say. Okay, next person on Love Hip Hop is Erica. Erica is the the mother of Little Scrappy's daughter. And their stories, I, I like their story because I think that a lot of people can relate to their story. What happened was her and Scrappy was together. Scrappy cheated on her. He left her. He got with Diamond, the rapper. You know, left her and the baby. I, I don't, I'm not saying he wasn't still a dad. He probably was still there for his child. But he just kind of broke yeah. Erica's heart, left her hanging, moved on Diamond because she was Diamond. She was, you know, ugh. Oh my gosh. So he was all infatuated with Diamond. Left Erica. Then Diamond dogged him out. Got with Soldier Boy. Played him publicly. He got played like Boo the Fool to <laughs> everybody. I saw it on Twitter. Like she Soulja played Boy too. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> but he got dogged out. She left Diamond left him <laughs> for Soldier Boy. So then Zoom. after he got his heart broken and stuff, playing back and forth with Diamond, he decided to go back home. This okay. is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> In the middle of me talking, <laughs> hold on. I got it. Okay, so I'm a mom, and my child woke up in the middle of the night. It's been raining in Jacksonville, like she said, so she's terrified. Storming. Storming. Can somebody yeah. please turn off the faucet? <laughs> she's terrified <laughs> when she hears the rain or thunder. She gets really scared. But um, back. we're talking about Scrappy and Erica, and he left Erica for Diamond. Diamond dumped him for Soldier Boy publicly. And it was a big thing. After his heart was broken and he tried to do his thing with Diamond and it didn't work, he went back to Erica. And now he's expecting Erica to just turn everything on like he didn't hurt her in the past. Like, you know what I mean? He didn't cheat on her. He didn't leave her. He didn't dog her out and just really hurt her. So he's wanting affection. He wants, okay, let's, let's make this family work now. You know, I'm back. You know, Diamond dumped me. Not I left her because I really want to be with you. No, Diamond dumped me publicly. Now I'm back. And I want you to be up under me and show me so much love and be there, ride or die, whatever. Uh, and boom. she's a little confused. <laughs> she's yeah. a little confused because she's like, okay, well, if you and Diamond wouldn't have broke up, if Diamond wouldn't have left you or dogged you the way she did, would you be coming back at me? Would you want me? And he couldn't answer her. Sure and all that kind of stuff. So I understand where Diamond's coming from. I see, I just think that people in situations, when they mess up, you know, when they say sorry, they want you to just forget it like it's over. Sometimes I'm sorry it's not good enough. Sometimes you need to show me this is really what you want. You know what I mean? Like, how does she know that in three months, Diamond not going to say, hey, Scrappy, you know hey. what? I'm real sorry about what I did. I want to make this work. I love you. And he going to be like, uh, Erica. Uh, <laughs> How she, I mean, how was she supposed Whatever. to feel? How she supposed to feel comfortable and content in that when... She she don't know. So I'm gonna let you talk about that because that's bullshit. Yeah, I mean, if you really wanna, if you really want her back and you wanna make your family work, then you know you should be able to go above and beyond to kind of ease her her mind that this is really what you want and not this is just what it is because you got dumped. You know what I'm saying? And you just you know playing time with her until somebody else, the next diamond or diamond comes around. You know what I'm saying? So I feel her. His mama, Mama D, is hilarious. I love her in that order. In that order. She's funny. I like her. <laughs> they got all the little balances. Like, all these shows, they always got a crazy mama. Frankie. I got an auntie like that. Do though. you? Mm -hmm. They got Frankie, man down, cold Then 10. they say I ain't like that. You do? No, I don't. And then they got <laughs> uh, Miss Nancy. Um, I'm physicotic. They know what she got it? Physicotic. Physicotic. <laughs> but she spelled she's it wrong, though. No. Yeah, <laughs> she spelled like physicotic. Physicotic when or something. Selling, though. Yeah, but... <laughs> That was Mama Jones. Now you got Mama D. And she's an ex-pimp and dope dealer. She real hardcore. She love her son. I do like her, though. I like her. She crazy. Yeah. She funny. And she real, but I, she is she funny. She kid. love her son. She put up kids before she did. Yeah, and I, I do like her. I mean, I, I see some good quality. I definitely see that she takes some medication. But yeah. she's funny. I like her character. Um, So that's Scrappy and his woman. They've been going through that. Back and forth. Mm. And then you got Carly. And Carly's this upcoming rapper, singer from Trinidad Who or something. Is that? Carly, she the girl that told Mimi that they was kissing. They was kissing. They was. But oh. she told. She told. She the one that told. Oh, so that's Car the rat. Yeah, the rat. Yeah, the rat. Yeah, the rat. The rat. <laughs> so Carly is funny. I like Carly. She's about, um... She's about her music. She's trying to make it. Seriously. She's dating, I like she's dating that. L.A. I like Reed's that. son. I don't, the one thing I understand is you're dating L.A. Reed's son. Yeah. Why are you worried about Stevie J? Yeah. 
That's I mean, I have your boyfriend hook you up with his daddy. You know, be in the studio. Yeah, I mean, why you worried about Stevie J? I mean, come on, girl, you dating Ellie Reed's son? You got a hook up in, in your arms, reach, girl, okay. just reach it, and grab it. Calling you, right? You too busy <laughs> worried about Stevie J. I need Stevie J. I don't care like what Stevie J's ass. So yeah, I like Carly though. I do like you. I see what you're doing. I mean, you need more storyline. Right now, you're the rat, part of Stevie J and his little triangle. So rat, that's what it is. <laughs> what it is. The rat. <laughs> Stevie J is hilarious. Stevie what J. What book is that? Let's talk about Stevie J. Man. Stevie J is a. I hate that. <laughs> That's what. Sean, I hate yeah, that. Yeah. Nigga. Stevie J is a song. Because writer. I know about four or five niggas that just talk like just J. like that. You okay. hear me? You know. You, you hear you know, me? Four or five Stevie J's. No, I ain't got them. I said, but you I know, know four or five oh, okay. Stevie J's. Because <laughs> I want to be following with that bullshit right now. Let's get that off for real. Stevie J is a, <laughs> uh, what is he? Is a songwriter and a musician. And he's been a singer, we just discovered on the other show. <laughs> <laughs> but he's dating. That's, that's part of the game. He used to date Eve. They broke up. I don't know this nigga. Um, he's dating. Oh. He, he's dating Mimi. Character named Mimi. And they have a two-year-old daughter. They've been together for allegedly. Allegedly. Well, I mean, she said it. But somewhere within them, these 15 years that, they, that she said they've been together, he was dating Eve. I don't know. what They, they had a breakup, two-year breakup or something. That he is, got with he Eve. Got some but, but he was with her. Um, they said that Stevie J is a dude that allegedly released the sex tape of Eve. You know when she had that little sex tape that came out, mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. yeah, it like yeah. messed up her career for a second. That's Stevie J, so Stevie J was the one that supposedly wow. leaked that. He was the one that allegedly leaked that sex tape. I don't know. I'm not saying you did it, Stevie. You got enough problems, so I ain't trying to cause no more problems. But that's what the, what the word is. Release well, this is one. Yeah, but <laughs> but Stevie <laughs> J is he he went Mimi. They got a relationship. That's his main chick. That's his not boo. me. <laughs> Not her, but Mimi in Atlanta. His uh, his boo, his child's mother, two year old daughter. They um got together and they got their little family. Stevie J was trying to be slick on the first episode. He was trying to get her this house. He was trying to put her and the baby in. He didn't want to live in there with him though. He was giving. Part of he the was game. Get, getting her a house. Now that's nice. I'm gonna do a book about pimping ain't easy. <laughs> one oh one to these females. You hear me? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you. I got now, a Mimi. He was trying to buy you a house. But I would have took that. I don't know if I would have. I would have took that. I took the house. <laughs> now, she crazy right Not now. Not on some gold digger that. type stuff. But just he trying to make sure you and your one. daughter is is good. And y'all got someplace good. Why not? Okay. Thank you. What? Whatever. But um. You ain't got to pay nothing. Stevie J is. He got a new artist that he's been, he's been managing for about four to five months. And her name is. Jose. I mean, her name. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, um, Jocelyn. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> As you can see, Jocelyn um, is a, a, a artist, a rapper, slash, she said, I'm a rapper, slash, model, slash, singer, slash, entertainer. You know, I do it all well. Yeah. Don't like her. Um, she looks like a dude. Hated her. She looks like a dude, and her. I know a lot of people have been defending her, Hate saying she's him, a, her. <laughs> <laughs> he, she, she man, lady boy, yeah, the lady boy, yeah, that's what they call um, him. She, uh, he, that's she. That's what we just replied to. Yeah, we're not calling that. <laughs> <laughs> We just repeating what they everybody said. They said they called her Lady Boy on the Breakfast Show. So okay. So I'm calling her Lady Boy. So okay. I'm I borrow on this from you, Charlotte. Spade is a spade. I do like the name. A dog but, is um, a dog. What the shit that nigga said? So this somebody. is the thing. This is the thing about about Jocelyn and Stevie J. Okay, you know you taping this reality show. So part of yeah. me think it's not real because you taping this reality show. You know you taping this reality show. The cameras <laughs> is there. You know the cameras is there, and you carrying on with this mistress chick. Yeah. When you got your main chick who's on the show, too. So, it's just drama. You messing around with a lot of people. You playing a lot of games. It's really stupid. It's really childish. Um, on the very first episode, him and Jocelyn was in the studio. And he was playing some little crazy techno type of beat. He was like, <laughs> then he, he told her to get up. Like, come on. Do your little girl dance for me. She got up. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> she got like, up. But, doing her little but the whole dance. thing about it, though. You supposed to be a rapper or singer or something. Bitch, I ain't heard you saying shit in the damn mom uh, studio, but sit up there like this. Well, no, because that that one time she was she, I think they was were playing, playing it and stuff. she was lipping with the music. But there was that one. We time had to see her. her in the booth, right? Very true. I mean, in the booth. Yeah. Have you heard anything she said? Like, okay, the other girl, 
was in the booth singing. Ah. I can't sing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. That bitch ain't saying nothing. Right. She's hanging out in the studio. She right. like she ain't got no place she's, to stay. Honestly, she's his little his little project, and he messing with her. Yeah, it's very clear project. he's messing That's with her. That's what they call her. him now. Yeah, project. This is his project. Uh, um, obviously he wants Mimi. He he wants to have his cake and eat it too. That's his yeah. main. He probably do love Mimi because she done been there with him fifteen years, right? Yeah. That. Um, been there. Done that. They had a big altercation. Mimi didn't know that Jocelyn Hill was messing around. She knew that he was managing some chick named Jocelyn, but she didn't know how deep it was. She ran into her old friend at K. Michelle's. Shout out to K. Michelle. K. K. Michelle, Michelle yeah. she's on the show too. She in the studio trying to make her, her album. And she um allegedly, she was talking about her, her last when she was trying to make it before. Her manager used to beat her up and he stole $2 million from her. We're looking for that. And nigga. that's supposed to be Memphis, Toya. Uh, Lil Wayne's ex-wife's new husband. I don't know if it's true. Allegedly, that's who it was. But her story ain't really re- revealing. You know, we don't we don't know what's going on with her yet. So mm-hmm. she in the studio. Shout out to you. We'll see you in a couple of shows. Like yeah. like Rashida. I guess people that's actually working, they ain't gonna have no storylines for real. But um, uh, Mimi was going to K Michelle's birthday party and ran into an old friend who was Carly, who was the rat, the rat, the rat, <laughs> <laughs> the rat. But no, she ran to her, and she was talking about how she had a lunch with Stevie J and Jocelyn, and how Jocelyn down for her man, you know what I mean? That girl yeah. love her man, she ride die, she's a down chick, she down for her man, you know, her man is she Stevie was her She was like, her man she is Stevie J. Her. her man is Stevie J. Who? 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 That's what I mean, we said, who? No, 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 that's my man. Who's that's been a lot of furniture moving right now, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, been a lot of too. furniture moving. That's why old girl had done got up and said K. Michelle said, I'll be back. <laughs> I will be back. <laughs> I'll be Let back. Let me get out of the way. I just right. got my hair done. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Shout out to K. Michelle. A lot of, uh-huh. But anyway, um, they, 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 they my child is well. still crying for me, so I might pause it again. But no, um, she uh, she found out at the thing, and right after she found out, Stevie J and Jocelyn come up in the club together, kind of holding hands. Kind of. They was like, what you doing? Kind of. Like, they like, would. Like this. If like like, like lightly holding. Like lightly holding, and then they saw me me. <laughs> <laughs> hands off real quick and I don't know she probably peeped it her friend peeped it so then she kind of approached them and she asked and Jocelyn That's Jocelyn lied friend. to her and said they wasn't doing nothing why you think we doing something no we not doing nothing like she lied she on TV <laughs> Did it's gonna come out eventually. It's gonna come out eventually. It's gonna come out Because whenever you and your show come out, I'll pop you on your face. I want to be there <laughs> in the studio. I might fly the app. No, I ain't saying fly. I know I'm lying right now. It's the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drive <laughs> to Atlanta to that reunion show because I got to see that face to face. Because I'm gonna be the bitch right there. And say, bitch, you lie. <laughs> I okay, see so, <laughs> so Jocelyn and Mimi, they talked or whatever. Stevie J, Jocelyn was like, not Jocelyn, but Mimi was mad. She yeah. was talking to Stevie J. She got up, walked out and left. Stevie J got up to go follow his main chick, Mimi, who got a child with him. Yeah. And then Jocelyn yes. got mad yes. and threw her drink at him. So then he stopped. So that that, that should have been known right there. That's what she said, though, but in see, the second show. But what, what, what Mimi messed up is, if I thought I seen that damn drink, I would have walked back and said, bitch, what you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna drink for? <laughs> wow. <laughs> see, they better than me. Okay, so no. She threw a drink a at him. Jocelyn was mad that he was getting up. Would have been moved that night. I think, I think she was mad. Order. Why did she throw the drink? I think she threw the drink because she was mad that Stevie J was actually going to follow me. Follow him. So she threw a drink. He stopped like what? You better act like you know. Oh, what you know, Stevie? What you know? What you know? Because then you stopped. You stop, so obviously you know. You know. <laughs> For real. You know about you know. the situation. You, you know. Like, this one happy, and that one happy. He got up, like, Mimi, where you going, baby? Hold on. You know what I'm saying? She <laughs> said, Psh. He stopped, like, hey, yo, what's up? You better act like you, you know. know. <laughs> well, I know, I know what. I know what. But he ain't go no damn way. He ain't go nowhere. He stayed right damn. there with him. You know, you know the mistress is a bad heifer. That's a bad When a bitch. mistress can make your ass not follow your man. Okay. Normally, the you know, he, I'll check you later, mistress. I, I'll handle you. On, let me go handle my woman Boy, that's first. That's what you He didn't. Did. <laughs> he didn't. I would have kicked her ass. <laughs> right in that order. In, in that, that order. <laughs> For real. Mm-mm. So, Stevie J gets outside. Uh, he gets in the car uh-uh. with... Wait a minute. 
Okay, him and he Jocelyn. He passed right by yeah, Mimi. Yeah, he passed by Mimi. He stopped. He threw his drink back at Jocelyn. And she got mad because he messed up her floor. You messed up my floor. Yeah, see, first of all, she don't need to be in the studio. She need to be at a speech therapy. You know what I'm saying? I, I probably need to be at a speech therapy right now because when well, I'm up on the alcohol right now. But this bitch talk like this. Every day. She said, no, he threw that drink at me and messed up my, my fur. fur. <laughs> I fur. got my knee What the fuck is fur? My fur. <laughs> fur. <I> Speech there. <laughs> you know what? The school that you went to, don't announce it. Don't, don't even <laughs> tell nobody. Don't, even don't tell, tell nobody. Nobody. For real. You and your flirt. Nobody. But, um, so I guess he was retaliating, throwing drink back because she threw that drink at him. So then they got into the car. He passed me me. Pass. They got into the car, and Pass. then we saw two. Was tri- we was looking, cause she be paying attention, you know. Who? And I got you pay attention. I sure do because <laughs> I had to rewind it to see what she saw. I didn't catch, but if you look, if you go watch the first episode, if you DVR, you can go to vh1.com and watch it online. Um, you see the back of the car there, and the back of the car, and you see two heads go in. What they go? What the hell what? going in for? What she said, really. Yeah. Really? I would have bust every goddamn <laughs> one up in that bitch right there with my purse. You hear me? I would have bust every, every one of them. The bite one the first. The shit I would have seen first. You hear me? I would have bust every goddamn one of that. Okay. And flatten every damn tie with my earring. You hear me? I would take out my earring and stuck a hole in it all them witches right now. Paper. You hear me? Y'all better than me. Y'all, I would have showed the fuck out. You hear me? <laughs> Y'all want to put somebody on the show for some ratchetness? She will give you ratchet. No, I won't give you no ratchet. It's just that don't, don't do that. Don't, that don't oh, they, do, they, they set up these situations, though. But you know what I'm saying? But some women that see the reason why these ni- <laughs> The reason why these dudes be doing this because they let them. Mm-hmm. If she would have showed the hell out the first goddamn time <laughs> about 14 or years 10 ago. years ago. Yeah. She wouldn't even be in this predicament. No you more. hear me? <laughs> that bitch that. This bitch crazy. Man. Man. All day. That's so, what I want you to keep in your mind. Keep that in my that mind. That bitch is crazy. She crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so <laughs> Mimi right. said, she, Mimi, I, I don't know if Mimi saw the heads going in or she just saw he was in that car. No, she did. And he wasn't following That's her. That's why she said, really? Yeah. Really? Really? He go, Oh, I was looking for you. Bitch, you just passed by me. I was looking and for you. And you let him pass by? Because I would have tripped that bitch right. Oh, bitch, what's wrong with you? Did you see me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Get the bleep on. Please get the bleep on. So, wait. It's so, funny now, but I was mad as hell. <laughs> I was mad as hell at that girl. I was mad. Damn, I was mad. She was. Damn, I was mad. I was about to throw the TV out the damn one. <laughs> oh, my God, I was mad at it. Bitch, really? Is you really doing this on TV? Man, okay. They would have said, cut the camera. <laughs> right. So, he gets out. He tried to ease uh, Mimi's mouth a little bit. I was looking for you. You was looking for me. You. Why was you looking for me? You were looking for me in the car type of thing. So, then, you know, while they arguing... Jo- uh, Jocelyn, <laughs> Jocelyn, send it at limo, pull her phone out, and call Stevie J. Why she call him right, right there? She ruled as hell. She Listen. called him <laughs> while he was arguing with his woman, and exactly. guess what he did? She, she called, called him, him. and what? he answered it. Really? Okay, I would have kicked that bitch right <laughs> in my. <laughs> oh, it would have been a scene. Channel Four News, that line would have been out there, bitch. Yeah, you hear me? Oh, bitch. You hear me? Oh no! I would push that nigga head in. So wait a minute. Let's let's. Oh my god! Let's let me, let's do some points I'm calm here. down. I'm calm down. I'm Jocelyn calm down. right now is I'm winning. I'm getting Side a call. chicks I'm are winning. I'm getting a call right now. <laughs> Side <laughs> chicks are winning. Number one, when he was in the club going to chase Mimi, this heifer said, threw a drink at him and said, "You better act like you know," and he stopped. Stop. And stayed there. It's Number deep. two. It, walk, he walked past his woman, who Pass. obviously is pissed at him, gets in the car with his artist, the lady boy. She went. Number two. Number three. While he outside discussing the matters discussing. of the situation 
with his woman, the one he's claiming as his woman, she calls him and he answers the phone. Hello? That bitch said, hello? <laughs> I will knock every teeth out of that bitch mouth. And he went and sung another motherfucking song. And like, <laughs> me. Gummy. I, I don't Stevie even Gummy. Know. I don't uh -huh. even understand. So understand then they arguing back and forth. You know what I mean? I don't care if she's on the phone. You know, really, you really you really? answering the phone in front of me. <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> in right, right in your face. Be, be right, here, right here on your yeah. face. So this be close. Tall. This close. She he knows that she wasn't gonna do anything. Right. That's why he answered that phone. Mm -hmm. I would have took the phone. Yeah. I mean, Took. you said you were the kicker. Why I took it and threw the phone? I threw Took. the phone. I would have threw the phone at Jocelyn's head. I would have opened the window. I mean, the door. I would have opened the door to the car that Jocelyn was in. So she called him and she wanted so bad and booped her in the head with the phone. Uh-huh. Um, that's what you I You know what I would have got it? I would have got it in the front seat of that car and drove that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> drove that bitch down Peach Avenue. <laughs> and I would have jumped out that motherfucker and left it rolling. You hear me? <laughs> that's some crazy shit. out That's why nobody want to like to fuck with me. Mm. Oh my god. Google my ass. Okay. <laughs> Watch and see. Google me. Mm -hmm. So they argue, they arguing back and forth, and he's saying They better than me. I don't even He getting Ooh. so then she say, Okay, so what you got to leave with her, you don't go with her. But so Stevie J ends up leaving with leaving. Jocelyn. And leaving. Mimi said, if you leave with her, then I know what it's really about. And he left with her. That's point four. Yes. So first episode, Jocelyn's winning, obviously side yeah, chicks. Winning. She one winning. point to the side chicks, one point. First episode, one point to the side chick. Second episode, you see Mimi. She done read my what? I'm in <laughs> Thank you for Mimi. Thank you for reading the email that I sent you. Pimping ain't easy. 101. Pimping ain't easy. Everything she did step by step <laughs> is exactly what I do. Okay. Okay. Exactly what you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how you get so stuck. what happens is we find out. That, okay. They they, they they open it. They open it in the um. I felt a little bit. And it's funny because I ain't talking about this. No, nobody else from the second season because I updated y'all on them really quick. But I'm telling you that the show was sitting around this love triangle, which we like to talk about. But um, the second one we see that uh, Mimi is with her friend. She's been out of her friend's house that night, and they woke up and talking about friend. it. Her friend really got her back. Yeah. Shout out, I don't even know a girl's name. I'm going to learn it. Shout yeah. out to the friend, because she she's nice a really good it. friend. Really good she friend. Knew. That's how friends are. You know what I mean? If your friend, if you see your friend going through some stuff, honestly, you, I mean, your friends, we do it all the time. We move with a fool for love sometimes, and you got to watch your friends go through this. But the fact that she was, like, crying, like, I don't want to see you go I through know. this. That was, like, that touched my heart, because that's true. That's how it is. You hate to see your friends and family members be played like a fool. Yeah. Ain't nothing you can do. It's their decision. So, I mean, she was a really good friend. At the club, she's like, come on, let's go. Let's go. So, let's go. Instead of, like, She kept being own. in front of him. Don't, yeah. don't talk to him. <laughs> don't talk to him. You ain't got shit to say to him. Come on, let's go. And, and she, you know what? I think, like, some, she people, was so hesitant. some people said that it was, like, it was wrong of her, but I think honestly she was trying no, to keep no, her friend out of no, jail, keep no. her friend from having she a meltdown. Had, she wasn't gonna do that. Mimi was gonna I do know, that. but maybe. She, right. she knew exactly what Mimi was gonna do. Fall for that okay deal. <laughs> Okay. I guess she was also trying to make it so her friend wouldn't be so embarrassed. Because it was embarrassing. Yeah, that was you sitting up here, your man walk in with some Joanna man looking person. No, ma'am. Some lady boy. Mm. It's embarrassing. Come on, let's just Spiritual go. Not your movie. <laughs> so anyway, Everywhere. it opens up. They're talking about it. You know what I mean? The situation, as, as girls do. And then you see the next... Uh, Whatever the next uh, scene is, Jocelyn in the studio when Carly come in and Jocelyn tell her, you know, I'm the HBIC and it you know what I mean, you a rat for all of this kind of stuff. If you trying to start like stuff, I can't, I can't yeah. talk like that thing. I can't <laughs> talk like the lady boy because <laughs> I got an education. Um, <laughs> exactly. Me too. <laughs> I don't know, education. but no. So she was basically. I don't want to go back stripping. <laughs> I don't want to go back stripping. <laughs> I don't want to go back to stripping, bitch. You might need to go back to stripping. All I know is I bet every he messed up her flur. He messed up her flur. <laughs> flur. I ain't gonna never forget that shit. Though. Flur. It's called flur now. I don't even want to wear no shit like that. <laughs> okay. No. So she was telling Carly, "You messy. You were starting stuff." And Carly was like, "Actually, no. I didn't she know." Wouldn't. Carly really didn't know, honestly. She it, didn't know. it seemed really honest. I mean, like really innocent. Like she really didn't know. But I think Mona Scott and the producers knew, and they set it up real nice so I could get, sure so sure. get told. So I don't Mona think Carly. Scott, she, I'm not, let me tell you, Mona Scott know what the fuck she. She do. She get paid. 
She know how to get that money though. I love you. <laughs> she know how to get that money though. I'm on the sky. Big she getting paid. The sky. She getting paid. And they they doing it, so whatever. But um she was basically saying, Well, if you wanna work with Stevie J, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna have to fall in line because I'm his priority. And if I let you come in the studio, then you can come in the studio. Like she crazy. So then what happens is ain't paid no bills. Stevie J try to go see Mimi. And Mimi got her own little business. Shout out to Mimi for not depending on yes, the man and having baby. your own business. We thought business. you had shit in the goddamn <laughs> second what episode. I ain't thought you had shit with damn Stevie J. Big <laughs> ups to you. Drinks to you, baby. Shout out to Mimi for having her cleaning business. And I love cleaning. You know I love washing clothes. Do you? That's what I want to do. You want to have oh, a laundromat? Yeah, I do. Okay. I like love that. Love the flood. I love flood washing flood. clothes. I might not look she has like a, it, she has but a I love washing clothes. She has a cleaning business. I and that. I know some people probably got something negative to say, but she making money. Mm-hmm. She clean, You know what I mean? Whatever. She ain't. Yeah. I don't care what she doing. She doing the legal hustle. She got her own business. Damn Try to meet me for that. But not getting yes. on CBJ. You got your own stuff. I'm very proud of you for that. I'm very happy that they showed that and they put that out there. That you ain't some kept woman that don't do nothing. You you working. So that's That'll what I'm talking thing. about. Hair salon slash... <laughs> okay. In here what? store. In here store. They what? all connected. Exactly. You know. Get your shit messed up. We clean it up. Yeah. So Stevie J and Mimi, he ahead. coming in. I'm he trying to talk to her. He trying to tell her. She asked, "Are you sleeping with her?" He said, "No." Then he smiled. Smile. Oh, I hate that shit. Oh my god. <laughs> that's another sign, ladies. That's another sign that the bitches be lying. Mm-hmm. That ain't cute. That ain't is not cute. No, nah, we ain't effing. Take that shit. T- <laughs> take that shit. Sh- Seriously, I can't even tell. I can't even express how. You and your flur. Oh my God. I just cannot express. Girl, I don't hear it at all. You know what I mean? So he like he said they wasn't sleeping together, which he was lying. It was very obvious he was lying. No. And then Mimi kind of like, what you smiling for or whatever. And they was what arguing before. That? So then she he said, look, okay, look, this is what I want to do. I want to give you, I want to give you 5% of this project. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to give you 5% of this project and whatever. And she said. I mean, if you really try to get me in, you give me five percent from you and five percent from her. I okay. want ten percent of the project. So then he said, so "All right, I own all right." Both of y'all, bitch. He said, "All right." So I see what I can do. I'm gonna get my lawyers. You get your lawyers, draw something up, and they bring it to me. All right, can I see? That you? was game. And then you know he was what I'm saying? Like, that was, was game. And he was like, "Well, can I see you later on?" No. See what I'm saying? That was the game led up to. Can I see you later on? Yeah, yeah. Can I see you later on? She said, "No." And all that really? kind of stuff. He said, well, I mean, why not? I'm going to be tired. So you can call me tomorrow and we'll see. Really? She did real good. <laughs> no, you got to see this. Person. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? No, he was mad. You can call no, me tomorrow. No, somebody he was surprised. Like, really? So she had read my email. Go ahead. Yeah, because he was like, really? For, like, for real? Yeah. I, you ain't going to hang out with me tonight? For mm. real? He was a little Because she normally hangs out. Right. She, she normally, normally hangs okay, out. Okay, okay, baby. Pick whatever you me. say. I'm telling you. Wake up. Yeah, she doing a good job. Play, she playing the game. It's yeah. all a game. She playing the game. I mean, y'all probably saying she's stupid, but at least she playing the game. She ain't all the way outside no more. She in there a little bit. She working it. So, when they actually have dinner, you know what I mean? He all like, you look beautiful, baby. You know? And Stevie J slick, though, y'all. I would yeah. tell y'all, he's smooth. He's smooth. Them dudes that get you. Because I done been I got you. before. And they get you. I love you. Yeah, I love you. You look love good, you. baby. You look so beautiful. What's going on? You know, I love you, right? Bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. uh, <laughs> he, um, trying to smooth talk her, all that kind of stuff. And Mimi takes out some papers that she got drawn up from her lawyer. Blam, blam, blam. I this? want 20% of your company, nigga. Your whole company. Come and then, on. when he saw a little thing, he made a face like, who do this up for you? <laughs> Dude was so mad, y'all. Cause it's unexpected. <laughs> he was so mad. Check the unexpected Stevie J. <laughs> he was pissed. <laughs> she getting a lo- lot of feedback from women. Yeah. This is what you, you think. Steve Harvey got a book. Read mine. Mm. I'm telling you. Okay, so. She gave him the contracts. They talk it out for a second. He a little pissed. But then he said, okay, you know, we, we'll talk about it, whatever. So then he take her up to Lil' P&R, wrote you a song, baby. He sings a little song for a little Brian McNaught. Brian yeah. McNaught. You need to stop. Yeah. Pause. But anyway, he starts singing. So I love you, because baby. Because he used to sing to her. Yeah. And she get, <gasps> And I said if a dude, I mean, he was okay. But for, for me to melt, like mm-hmm. if I'm going to melt because you singing to me, 
I need you to be Jamie Foxx singing, Can I Take You no, Home, Girl? Because if Jamie Foxx up yeah. there and say, Baby, I want you to make it do what it do, yeah, I'm like, I forgive you, but daddy. I got, but I got a good one, though. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, be like Malcolm on Single Ladies. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you see the car he got, the Keisha? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, we just drive that, baby. Look at that. She <laughs> on Single Ladies. We on Love and Hip Hop. I'm and sorry. Dance. Okay, so. Whew. After um that he sang to her, she gave him a hug. They left. Whatever, chalk it up, chalk it up. It was cool. Then um Mimi actually went to the studio <laughs> to let Jocelyn know I like that, that I got twenty percent of this business. And I'm actually part of the company now. I'm gonna take more of a role. Said it right right in her face and said it to the lady boy. And lady boy had to <laughs> lady boy had to sit there. She had a little mean mug face. She was mad and she looked like a dude, y'all. Dude, yes, do the expression. <laughs> and then she was <laughs> like a five year old child. <laughs> and then she was staring at her like she was mad. Was sh- mad. Sorry, she was waiting for Stevie J to say something. Jose he wanted her sugar daddy to nothing. say something. He wasn't gonna say nothing but okay, baby. anything you want, mm-hmm. baby. Anything you want. He was. Mm-hmm. He was. Mimi said what she wanted she to say, it. and I loved it because I love was, that shit. another another reason before right before she went to meet with them, Carly had oh, a meeting with. Me, me. Carly is about her business. Because yeah. first, Carly tried to make up with Jocelyn. Okay, well, look, I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to get in the studio. That's all I'm trying to do. Jocelyn tried to play her like, well, if yeah. I if I allow him to work with you, he'll work with you. So Carly did one other. She invited Mimi to her house, talked to HBIC, what? the woman he tried to actually, you know, make up with or whatever, and told her, well, I just want to work with Stevie. And Mimi said, you know what? You will. I got you. I got so you. she came in there. She told Stevie J, okay, so... I just want you to know, Jocelyn, first of all, I'm a partner now. I'm part of this business. I'm going to take more hands-on. You're going to see me. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see me a lot more often. And then she said, um, so, Steve, what do you think about Carly? Carly J. And he, or, I don't know, Carly J. Carly something. I, I'm calling her Carly J. That's Stevie J. Carly yeah. somebody. What do you think about Carly? And he was like, uh, I think she's a rat. I think she's a rat. <laughs> it was all about his teeth. If y'all watch from now on. Watch Stevie Pay J. Because when he gets mad, he grunts his teeth like this. He be mad. <laughs> and it's so funny. I'm telling you, you can Every tell when he's lying. It, yes. You can tell when he's angry. Yes. And you can tell when he just <laughs> want to be smooth and all that right there trying to get what he wants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When he got game. But yeah. every time he get mad, y'all, I have to rewind it because it's yes. so funny but to me. Funny. I like fall out laughing. But... She she asked Stevie J, we think about Carly. He said, I think she a rat or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I smell a rat, I gotta get a cat to stick the rat. You know what I'm saying? And he looked at Jocelyn. What was that shit like that? What was that? He looked at Jocelyn and he said, I gotta get the cat to stick the rat. I don't know if anybody else peeped that, but I saw that. So yeah. I'm trying to say. But anyway, so he asked Mimi Jocelyn, said, Well, I think this is big. No, 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 baby, get back up. He asked Jocelyn, what do you think? Bitch, it don't matter what the fuck right. you think. And Jocelyn said, and I think she trouble. She, Mimi should have checked. She did. Well, no, Stevie she checked, no, she she checked, checked Jocelyn. She should have yes. checked Stevie, right. She should have checked Stevie first. Yeah. Bitch, what you asking her for? Right. <laughs> what the fuck is you asking her for? Huh? Tell me. Huh? Tell me. Huh? Then, bitch, what you got something to say? You ain't got shit to say. So Jocelyn, Sit down with your ugly Jocelyn side. said. You ain't your big toe mama tell Oh, Jocelyn, said, Jocelyn said, I think she's probably, no, you know what I mean? She shouldn't yeah. be in the studio or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. And then Mimi would say, Well, no, you don't get to decide exactly. what happens. We decide. I love that. Yeah, let's say it. What did you say, baby? What exactly. Say? And she, he was like, What do you think, manager? Mimi? And she said, I think this is, he said, What you think, manager? What you think, manager? You think, I manager? think that it's a great opportunity in this business. You know what I'm saying? You know what, click them? When she said, We got to get this money. Yeah. We didn't mean necessary, we got to get this money. Whatever you say, baby. Mm-hmm. What Whatever you, you say, say, baby. Manager. So then, you know, I love she said, Stevie J told Jocelyn, like, you know what I'm saying? It could be trouble, but it could be a lot of money, too. So, you know what I mean? It is what it is. It so, is. So, Mimi said, is. okay, baby. I'm like, go. That order. See y'all later. Bye. With her 20%. Go on, Mimi. I ain't mad at you. Hopefully, you got that in writing. He signed that paper. Oh, so. And good. you got your house. I'm going to need to see that right now. Hopefully. So then, after that, after. All of that, Joss, right before Mimi came in, actually, Jocelyn was telling Stevie J that she might be pregnant. She was a late, a whole month late for her period. <laughs> Stevie J was kind of like, 
I mean, okay. You know, he wasn't really giving her nothing for real. And then after he Mimi left, that. after Mimi left, yeah, what's yeah. her name? Jocelyn went to go talk to Jocelyn. Yeah, Jose went to go talk. <laughs> <laughs> went to go talk to Carly to say you talk to Mimi. You know what I'm saying? You shady. You know what I'm saying? You don't do this like I shit was super hard. Carly was like, I'm not scared of you, girl. I was say I'm going exactly. to the studio. I'll take this dumbbell and fuck <laughs> your ass. Down. I'm about to go in the studio as right you know. Right on the damn on treadmill. As you see, as mad as you are, <laughs> they've they've already already got my date booked. I'll be in there next Tuesday, so whatever. But no, so exactly. anyway, she went back, took a took a pregnancy test. Hey, wait a minute. I can't understand when she was talking to um Carly. What was his name? Carly. Carly. That she was like, somebody gonna fuck her up. Somebody's gonna get that ass. And what's bitch, why you couldn't get that? Why you ain't gonna do it? Okay. Yeah. Cause you because, a man and you exactly. know what I'm A man, <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying, it's against the law for a man to put a hand on a woman, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm just putting mm-hmm. that out there. Y'all watch for yourself. So anyway. Um, it is, it is that, Jose, you know, whatever, but, <laughs> yeah, I had to write, I had to write them down, yeah, I, had, I was in a notebook writing as it was going, so I wasn't forgetting nothing, but, um, she took a pregnancy test, uh, Jose took a pregnancy test, and allegedly, Jose pregnant, well, I personally feel like you can't be pregnant if you're a man, number one, so it's obviously for television, Jose's not pregnant. It was on open. Yeah, but that was, that was a woman, she was born a woman, and she got the surgery she was turning into a man so she could still get pregnant versus jocelyn was born a man trying to turn into a woman they can't get pregnant damn thing. Yeah. you hear me yeah so a, a true man with man organs inside internally can't get let pregnant. me see some pictures of when you was a little boy. and this is my thing if, if they show if they <laughs> show the boy your little cousin that you were playing with <laughs> if they show school, jocelyn if they to me i'm gonna always say it's a conspiracy that's a man Period. Yeah, because that, that, that they, fucked up yeah. picture you put up on their, um, YouTube or whatever, Twitter, whatever mm-hmm. she put that up on. That's, man, it's the bitches out here that analyze that <laughs> cat so close. <laughs> and I was one of them, and they don't look like mine. <laughs> I even asked about four or five niggas to ask about that shit. And they don't look like mine. Okay, so. I'm sorry. She took a pregnancy test. He, she took a pregnancy big. test. And pregnant. Who does that? So they the cameraman in, the, in it. And how you gonna go take Who a pregnancy test in a public bathroom? You went took a pregnancy test in Who a public that? bathroom. <laughs> in a public that? bathroom. I'm gonna need to see you pee on that motherfucking stick. That's what I want to see. If you got <laughs> that close in the bathroom in the stall, it was in you the was stall. in the stall with it. <laughs> Look, you want the shame to put that damn picture up. You know what I'm saying? Twitter. Five days later, yeah. you shouldn't have been ashamed to get the clean clothes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm just saying. Well, in that order. I guess. I guess uh, Jose took the test <laughs> in the studio <laughs> because right after they took the test, they went to have a meeting with Stevie J. Gave a little fake. She was all small. Did y'all see her arms and stuff? She was Did real y'all see small. That shit? But um, I know my arms big, but then that bitch had a cut right here, <laughs> a cut right. Yeah. Man hands, man arms. She gave Stevie J the the pregnancy test. She took out her purse and he said, positive. You positive? What you been saying for? Minute. Calm down. What you getting sad for? What is all this right <laughs> here? What? Did you just pee on that stage? <laughs> <laughs> you is so fucking nasty. <laughs> and I'm talking about you gave it to him. And he had, oh, he touched it. Yeah, he did. All of it. He was like playing with it. Okay, like, so he be, woo, mm-hmm. pee. This is your pee? <laughs> Jocelyn got that dude whipped crazy. Whip. All I'm up, I don't I mean, know what the he fuck. was all up on her piss. But anyway, what? all up on her piss. But damn, um, what you doing? I want to know what the fuck you. So then he doing. played. He played real. He played real like. He played real stupid for a second. You know what I'm saying? Like, he brought this to me, your manager. Your manager. Like, you know, what you we got to. He was like, you know what I mean? We got to shoot. What you going to be throwing up? Why you got the choreography? You throwing up while you dancing? You need to, look, you 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 need to be careful. Yeah. No, bitch. You got you to be more careful. You should have been careful. You got to be more careful. No, wrap that shit up, y'all. Wrap that shit up. You supposed to handle this. What you bringing this to me from your manager? Yo, what? Why I'm bringing this? Who I'm supposed to bring it up to? Who the daddy? Who baby is it? <laughs> That is my favorite part. Who's baby? I don't rewind that shit about 50 times. You know what I'm saying? It's like, who baby is it? <laughs> who baby who is it? Who you been sleeping who with? Who you been messing with? Who you been sleeping with? Huh? 
It don't matter who I've been sleeping with. It don't matter who I've been sleeping Why with. Why you drilling me? Why are you, you drilling, drilling me? Who you been sleeping with? I'm just saying, though, who you who been baby? with? Who you been with? Who you been with? They say it. And she who said, baby is who it? Who baby is No. It's who, who baby, baby is, is it? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga. That had oh, this. Let me tell you how the show ended. Because that's how it ended with this little last scene. She is. said, I ain't been with nobody in six months but, but you. Mm. Now, we all know Jocelyn is a lady boy. So, truth be told, Jose really is not pregnant. It's not possible to get pregnant, Jose. I understand. You try, but you know, you know, um, you're not pregnant, Jose. But uh, that's cute. That was good, Mona. Y'all got that little good cliffhanger. We're going to be back next week. Damn, all so up live. into it to see if the lady boy watching it three, four, five happen. times. Cause we know Stevie J gonna make that thing get an abortion. They gonna allegedly draw the story out and say, yeah, she got an abortion. I mean, if she was really a lady, yeah. they could let her get pregnant and had a baby for real. That would have showed us that she was really a woman. But Ben, she'll get an abortion. How many to talk to your mom? I still think you a lady boy. Me I'm too. just saying. Yeah. So see, we had the pictures on. You know what I'm saying? The pictures that when she stood up, told some what? Now, what, what she was did that? was, what she did was, was she that? got mad. <laughs> After the very first episode of, um, of Love Him by Atlanta, the world was going ham on her on Twitter, calling her dude, saying you're like a boy, you're a man, blah, blah, blah. She got mad and tweeted naked pictures of herself. Like, that's supposed to make us think you are wow. a girl. Do you know that they got reconstructive surgery nowadays? You yeah. can get that taken, split in half, and tucked up inside, and fixed to where you look like you got a JJ. when technically you really got penis tucked up inside you, split in half. You're not a girl. Ooh. Then, on top of it, they were like, well, she ain't got no Adam's apple. Okay, no Adam's apple. Well... They can shave that down in the surgery. Do you understand what this is all about? Have you seen yeah, Sydney so Star and a whole bunch of other transsexuals right <laughs> that's famous that look like girls? They fooling y'all out here. That Girl, is a boy. Girl, he's done. And they're going to do him, too. Are they? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a boy, Damon. Yeah. Cha, Damon. Cha, 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 I'm cha, a boy, Damon. Damon. Yeah, that's a boy. Jose is a boy. A boy. That is a transsexual, Trans. transgender. But if Stevie J, that's what you like. That's what you like. You know what I'm saying? Big ups to you, but don't portray this bitch like she a motherfucking baddest bitch. She ain't the baddest bitch. You know what I'm saying? Don't portray her that she is a damn woman. If you like transsexuals, keep that shit in the I mean, she cover. called for transsexuals. Keep that she shit in woman. the city. I done seen some pictures of her. On the show, she look a mess. Number yeah. one, she not cute on the yeah. show. Whoever thinks she bad yeah, on the show is tripping. She's not cute. A therapist, a stylist, yeah. and a damn, uh, uh, I mean stylist. I'm talking about hair stylist mm-hmm. and a motherfucking stylist with the clothes. Because she trying to be... She look like Chi-Chi. trying to be like... Chi-Chi off two wrong food. That's it. That's mm-hmm. it. Off you right. Wrong you food. right. You right. Y'all check that out. For real. That's what but she I'm looks talking like. About, go back to the scene when she was up there talking cash trash to... Who that? Carly. Carly. <laughs> and she going to stand up and say... <laughs> and you are you on my Facebook. I I, oh I took that picture and I drew a circle around God. it to where she stood up. I think Carly excited her a little bit because yes. she stood up and we saw her little pee pee. Little pee pee. Listen, <laughs> understand me that this is not a chair, this is not a phone, this is not a belt. Uh-huh. We analyze this bitch to bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> bitch, you ain't number what? One o'clock. It's that wise. You, know <laughs> you can't drink. You can't drink. <laughs> Don't drink. <laughs> that this is not a belt. Nothing. It's this her is pee-pee. straight. She got a little excited. Look, I know how. I know. I know a- how I'm supposed to look. Now, okay. <laughs> Don't you know how I'm supposed to look? I know. Yeah, okay. I just seen a few. But no, exactly. Carly. Carly. Um, Jay is a pretty girl. So I think what happened was Chi Chi got excited. Jose got a little excited when he saw. Carly, and when he stood up trying to be like, I'm the bad, you know, he forgot that his little yeah. thing was still hard. You know, next time, I'm going to need you to tuck. Always tuck. got excited looking at old girl. That's what I say. He got excited looking at Carly because mm-hmm. Carly's really pretty. She is, though. So he got excited. He loves to Carly. So Jose she got is. excited. And Jose, next time, you might want to tuck. I mean, you know, because people like us, we watching it hard. We winding it, pause in this slow motion. Listen, look at <laughs> We're trying to expose um, you for the boy you really are. Really, really, really. <laughs> Start taking classes from RuPaul. Uh, what is that RuPaul show? Please do. Because they know how to, man, them bitches look like motherfuckers. Badass bitches. Now, them some badass bitches on now. Mm-hmm. For real. 
Oh, we gotta go. As you see, I'm sleepy. sleepy. I've been drinking this sangria. I'm I tired. go all night. I don't got crunked up on it. I ain't got nothing in this. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, we're gonna be back. We'll be back. Maybe we'll do one tomorrow. We'll talk about some stuff. If you guys post topics in the candy bar, we'll talk about them tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna talk about yeah, it. Yeah, so we'll be back. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. opinion. Please don't judge me. Don't judge me. I gotta get the sense around. <laughs> So, um, we will check wow. y'all later. And, um, yeah, keep listening to iCandy Radio. We'll see you later. All right? All right. Deuces. Be free seats. Shout out to the, the brothers in Duval. The chocolate drops in Duval. Y'all all look like this, for real. For real. Like, you know, I got the little scarf on, little ball ball. You taping this ball shit? Ball. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't even show y'all the ball ball. Where are they showing? Okay, whatever. I got my That's scarf on. I'm trying to. Okay, there we go. You see oh. it? There we go. So. I ain't got no ball. And I got a scarf wrapped around. So it's not like I look like this all the time. So don't judge me. Okay? Yeah. I'm don't saying. judge me off my pajamas. You know what I'm saying? We chill. Yeah. But. Yeah. So. The show was real good. It was. Tonight, it was. You know it, was cool. it was cool. It was cool. Look at that shit. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, no. I can't do that. <laughs> Y'all see me, this is me about to go to sleep. Hair ain't done, you know. I do got jewelry. I'm trying to make sure y'all know that I'm not a lady boy like Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I got boobs, you know, I am a girl. These is it's, real. That's what I wore the bra. <laughs> you know this is yeah. sleepover. We girls, we about to go to sleep. So y'all blinged out. I'm just okay. a little bling, but it's bedtime, so... That's you why Harry. You're gonna meet in your dream, right? You never. And I just want you to know, if you marry me, okay. if you marry me, I'm not gonna be a complete monster going to sleep next to you. I'm, I'm still a little cute, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. This is what I be talking about. <laughs> Y'all, you, see the discussion that we had about three weeks ago about the part-time damn Christian. You know what I'm saying? These part-time Christians do the same thing like mm -hmm. these other people do. Mm -hmm. That's why I like Mary Mary Arm um, Show. Mm -hmm. Because they're real about their stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're going to express their feelings. Mm -hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? They still got a love for God and stuff. But you never heard them cuss. Like, right. You never heard them um, in the club. You ain't right. see them in the club. Right. You, you don't hey, my see mom, them mom, I'm trying to yeah. get on their level. You know I'm what I'm saying? You never see them. But they damn sure take care of their damn husband. I damn. I, what? I, that is my... You know what? Seriously... And this is a what whole other topic. Mean? Yes, Lord have mercy. I love Tina and Erica's husbands. They got some really they good got some husbands. Brothers. Okay. I think I'll change for them. <laughs> you? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't do I'll that much stuff them. anyway. But I mean, if I got to stop wow. drinking, I'll stop drinking like that. But I'll I like, stop doing I all don't that. I don't go to clubs like, like that anyway. That. Yeah, I love their just situations. Like, I love the fact that their wives and their husbands are husbands. And they, like, love their wives. And... Oh, they're able to like live for God, and it's just so beautiful. exactly because you know, back in the day, like when my grandma was all talking about wearing the dresses all down here, mm -hmm. grandma, I can't find no man wearing dresses <laughs> like that right there. No, I can't find no man doing like that. I don't want no man in the church that y'all don't put me together with. No, uh uh, I want to find somebody like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They still do their stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because one of them is a drummer and one of them is a, a producer, mm -hmm. but. They live a Christian life yes. and stuff like that. I mean, you know don't what I like about each other is the fact Don't that judge <laughs> me. Don't judge me. He's still working on me now. I keep telling y'all that. I'm still trying to be delivered. The thing I, I like about that. Like that yeah, oh, my yeah. the, God. The thing I like about it, I love about it, is they show you that it's possible. We see, and, and people probably ain't watching it like they watch a love and hip hop and stuff, but it's possible to have a marriage yeah. and to have harmony. You're going to always come up with, you Somebody know, like. I love you. I'm talking about just You always going to have situations. You always going to have challenges because that's life. We always go through them. But they ain't got to be as crazy as these love and hip hop things. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, our test ain't got to be that crazy because we write with God. And I right. love that. It inspires me. That's why I need a husband. Now, if Tina, I get a husband, Tina I got a is a little sin. raspy now. Yeah. Yeah. She'll get a little raspy. But she, but still, like, she still ain't crazy with it. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. She's not, she not living in sin. She making no, all these babies no, no. with a husband. I mean, you my role model, Tina. Uh, you not, my I know the Bible said be fruitful and uh, multiply, but wait a minute. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm just saying I, I want a husband because like I want to be able to. I want to be able. I got no, my I'm a, two beautiful boys, my princess. You know what I'm saying? And I got That's one. enough for me. But I want to be able to, and I'm gonna end it out of this. I know we run out of time, but um, oh. I want to be able to get married so I don't have to have sex be fornicating. I'm gonna be able to do whatever I want to do freaky to my husband. It ain't a sin. <laughs>
<laughs> That's what I'm trying to get to. What happens in a marriage folks' bedroom is of God. So I'm trying to give me a hug so I can. <laughs> I'll drink to that. 